Hello guys, um, before I get started here, first we'll be doing NBA baske uh, ba Midway Basketball Games. Um, Midway ba Basketball Games have gone through a, a colorful history of stuff. Now I know with Slugfest and Blitz, I have done the yearly games so far, but the jam, but Midway's Basketball Games have never been yearly and haven't been a consistent brand, so because of that, I'll review them out of order like for example the first like I'll do the first two NBA Jam games consecutively but all the like the NBA Jam games I'll do consecutively when I review for systems like Super Nintendo I'll review Jam and TE and then for Genesis Jam T and so on but for the other ones like Hang Time, Showtime, Hoops and even Arch Rivals if I ever get an NES copy or whatever anything that's Midway and Basketball associated I'll do completely randomly because they they're not because it's it's different it's not yearly so they're not they're not the same game only different increments like Blitz and Slugfest so it's a different rule set for them and also in addition um I actually did all three of the episodes I was gonna do Jam Jam T E and Showtime for the PlayStation I already did them but I accidentally deleted them so. So, I already played Jam before I did them, but I haven't played TE and Showtime on the PlayStation before I played them there. And and it's and I'll talk about Showtime when I do that video. I'll talk about what happened in Showtime. That's the video where all the weird, interesting shit happened. Jam and TE were more. I mean, I mean, I didn't have any issues or anything like that. That the the Showtime one has a lot a lot happened in that one so i'll talk about that one in that video but for now we're going to take a look at nba jam i already covered it on the channel before in another video and we're going to look at it again and it's a great game i there's not really any complaints about it. <laughs> sorry well that proves to you these cartridges are durable as fuck i mean you can do anything with them really and they'll hold but uh but yeah we're going to check it out and and see how it holds up. Still a kick-ass theme song. It's such a great introduction to this game. Alright, I'm gonna be Detroit here. I know I played as Detroit when I first played it, um for when I first played it for the first time, but uh, I I gotta show that Detroit love. I'm gonna be Thomas starting off. I'm gonna be Thomas. And of course, first matches are always against the map. Oh, John! 
Thank God the stock controllers that came with my first trail are Super Nintendo style. So I think it's easy to figure out, much easier to figure out the controls for it.
Oh, nice! Damn, this is gonna be close. So 
I just can't seem to hold them. God damn it! I'm so close. I mean, Pistons are an alright team in this game, but they're not the best, I would say. The, the fact that they can't dunk really hurts them. Alright, but uh, yeah guys, that was NBA Jam for the Super Nintendo. It is very awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, um, it's not a rare game to find either. You can find it mostly anywhere. You can also find it on lots of different consoles as well. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. I recommend checking it out. And yeah, there's not much I can say about it. It's awesome. Grab it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.